Hey guys, it's Amanda with Getting There Green, and I want to show you um, just a little experiment I'm trying. Just a second. Okay. This is one of our garden beds in the backyard. It's um, a raised bed, two feet by four feet, and you can see that I'm growing water bottles. No? Okay. All right, what I actually have done here, show you. Okay, maybe I won't show you with that one. <laughs> See inside, I've got a plant growing in there. A little seedling. The reason I'm not pulling this out is I think it's gonna pull all the dirt with it and I don't wanna disturb the roots. I have done this because these are zucchinis and we have had trouble the last few years with the squash vine borer, borer <laughs> uh, killing our zucchinis. For the last two years we have not had an edible zucchini and we love zucchini. We could eat them every single day if we had them. Um, so it's major heartbreak every time the squash vine borer eats them, kills them. Um, check out our, uh, I'll put a link here somewhere, maybe right here. For a previous video about the squash vine borer and so you can see what kind of devastation they cause but here's my experiment I figure if the plant grows up through here the moth that lays the larva for the squash vine borer won't be able to um, lay its eggs at the base of the plant because it won't be able to get into it and um, I could take this off at any time until the zucchini plant gets too big to take this off and maybe I won't even have to ever take it off but um, maybe I'll find it gets too hot in here or something and I maybe should take it off we'll see how that goes but at least for the first life of this zucchini it is protected by this pop bottle or water bottle um, I could have used a soda pop bottle too of course um, also as a young seedling it's going to be protected from frost in here winds cats that might dig it up or squirrels so i think this is kind of a win all around it's open on the top so water still gets in and air can still circulate but um, it's protected from a lot of things the only downside i think is maybe it might get too hot in there but i'm not sure at this point it's been raining for days and you can probably see that the water bottle is wet on the inside it does get wet in there just fine and as you can see a zucchini is growing um, there's a zucchini growing in this one too it's just really small this one as well I have eight of them planted this way uh, four in this bed but all I did is I didn't save these I of course, I'm getting there green. I wouldn't buy bottled water. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> soapbox. Okay. Actually, somebody else in our family who does drink a lot of bottled water, I asked them to save their bottles rather than putting them in the recycle bin. Save them for me. These can always be recycled once I'm done using them in the garden. So it's actually getting more life out of the plastic bottle before, you know, it ends up doing more damage to the environment etc etc so after they had a few dozen of these saved they gave me a box of them all I did was cut it with um, like a box cutter knife just around here it was very easy to do and I took the label off took the lid off then um, I planted my seed in the ground and put this right over top of it and pushed it into the soil the one problem I did have is that most water bottles are made out of this plastic that's really easy to crush um, so what I ended up doing was taking a soda pop bottle which is made out of a stronger plastic and twisting it in the ground to make a kind of a hole where this would go and then I put this in that hole the ready-made hole so so far so good so far it's working and I'm really hoping that it protects against the squash vine borer. And again, I don't know at what point I will take these off, if at all. But um, let me know your thoughts on this. I thought it was uh, pretty
pretty good idea and we'll see hopefully it works ta ta talk to you later bye